Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to SST classes. Hope you all are fit and fine, and definitely you are enjoying your studies with SST classes. So, guys, <coughs> the topic is related with natural vegetation. First of all, we discuss that what do we mean by natural vegetation? Natural vegetation means the plant community. Which grow at a particular place without human help or without human assistance. Is that clear? After that, the next point is related with the different categories of plants. Oh, uh, sorry, different categories of forest present in India. We already dis discussed about the rainforest means the evergreen forest, and along with that, the tropical deciduous forest. And here. As the next, we are going to discuss about the thorny forest and scrubs. Okay, so this kind of forest generally present in the regions having rainfall less than seventy centimeter. Okay, मतलब simple सा point ये है कि ऐसे forest उन areas में present हैं जहाँ पे rainfall का amount seventy centimeter से कम होता है. We talk about this kind of reasons in India, and generally, this reasons we found. These reasons we found in the northwestern part of the country. So, what I mean to say that is, these kind of forests are present in the northwestern part of the country. Okay, means the <coughs> condition is less than seventy centimeter rainfall. Okay. And this amount of rainfall generally we find in the northwestern part of the country, in the states of Punjab, Haryana, UP, MP, Gujarat, and Rajasthan. Is that clear? Its kind of such forest forms areas will present. Okay. जहाँ पे रेनफॉल 70 सेंटीमीटर से कम था और इंडिया में ऐसी कंडीशंस कहाँ प्रेजेंट है पंजाब हरियाणा यूपी राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश एंड गुजरात ओके सो इन दिस वी द थॉर्नी फॉरेस्ट एंड स्कॉप्स वी जनरली फाउंड इन द स्टेट्स ऑफ पंजाब हरियाणा यूपी राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश एंड गुजरात ओके ना वी टॉक अबाउट द मेजर ट्रीज प्रेजेंट इन दिस कैटेगरी ऑफ फॉरेस्ट then generally the trees like euphorbia cacti thorny bushes and scrubs okay thorny bushes and scrubs are generally found in these areas along with that <coughs> These trees are having some characteristics, and in which which is the main thing. For example, they have succulent stems, along with thick and small leaves. Thick and small. Yes. Is that thick and small leaves? Okay. So in this way, यहाँ पे जो भी for इस forest में जो भी trees present होते हैं, उनके stem succulent होते हैं, और इसके अलावा इनमें जो पत्तियाँ होती हैं, जो leaves होती हैं, they are having uh, they are generally thick and small to minimize the amount of evaporation. Okay. After that, <coughs> the next point is related with the major animals present in this category of forest which are lion tiger rabbit rat mice and wild ass is that clear yeah. in areas mein jo bhi uh, एनिमल्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं वो लॉयन टाइगर रैबिट रेट माइस और वाइल्ड एस होते हैं सो इन दिस वे 
The next category of forest present in India is related with thorny forest means thorny forest in scrubs generally present in the areas having rainfall less than 70 cm related with the northwestern part of the country means in the regions of Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, UP, Madhya Pradesh and Kuchra. Okay. And the major trees found here in these areas are Euph uh, Euphorbia, Cacti and Thorny Bushes and Scrubs. Okay. Major characteristics of these forests or the trees of these forests are succulent stems along with thick and small leaves for minimizing evaporation. Okay. Major animals are lion, tiger, rabbit, rat, mice and wild cats. Now after that, the next category of forest is the mountain forest. Okay. Mountain. As it is clear with the name that these forests are related with the mountain areas. Okay. Mountain forests are related with the mountain areas. Mountain forest. Guys, in forest ko hum height ke basis pe alag alag categories mein divide kar sakte For example, weight, temperate forest, weight, temperate forest. The next category is temperate forest. Talk about the elevation more than three thousand. 
1600 meters. Then here the temperate forest and temperate grassland make a way for alpine vegetation. Means in these in these areas we find generally the alpine vegetation. Is that clear? After that the next category is the tundra vegetation. Means we can say that the temperate grassland and alpine vegetation finally make a way for tundra vegetation in these snow line areas. Okay, so in this way generally we have five categories of vegetation or forest under these mountain forest on the basis of height and in height ke basis pe elevation from the sea level ke basis pe divide kar sakte hain 1000 se 2000 meter mein generally we have temperate forest 1500 to 3000 mein temperate forest fir 3000 se 3600 meter mein temperate grasslands 3600 meter se above jo height elevation usme alpine forest aur last mein jo snow led areas hote hain unme tundra vegetation is that clear after that the next point and the last point is related with the major animals present in these areas so as we talk about the animals present in these areas that the first thing is the kashmir stag and first animal is kashmir stag okay and kashmiri paras and all after that the next point is tibetan the antelope after that spotted deer this ko hindi mein chittal kehte hain spotted deer okay so kashmir stag okay uh, i think i should draw this after that i should write it properly okay so guys the major animals present in these areas are kashmir stags um, after that tibetan antelope and the spotted deer the spotted deer isko hindi mein chital kehte hain okay along with that the rare red panda okay bear no lack of snow lack of yak and other animals of like god and sea like god and sea are generally animals found in these areas Okay, so if we talk about the mountain forest, then generally in the mountain forest, Kashmiri stag or the Tibetan antelope, spotted deer, rare red panda, god, sheep, bear, snow leopard, and along with it, yak are the major animals present. So guys, in this way, in this video, we discuss about two major categories of forest related with India. The thorny forest and scrubs and along with that the mountain forest now the remaining mangrove forest will discuss in the next video guys if there will be any doubt while watching this video in your mind you can write me in the comment section i will definitely help you to resolve all your doubts till then stay at your home be safe thank you very much